Hi everyone, I hope that you're all doing well. So a little bit of a different video from me today because I've not filmed one of these for a while but but because I have finished the duckling tutorial and I don't really have anything to upload this week I thought I might as well do a little draw with me video where I just draw this commission that I've been working on and just chat about anything and everything. I don't have any plans to do a new tutorial just yet. I'm actually going on holiday next week to Kefalos in Greece for my cousin's wedding so I'm gonna have a nice break and wait till I get back to start any new tutorials and I've also been putting together a beginner's guide to coloured pencils and I just don't see that being ready anytime soon so this is just like a nice little video to fill in the gaps and it's not often recently that I've had commissions that I can actually share because they've been gifts for people and even though it's probably not going to happen that the recipient will watch these videos I just don't like risking it. I just think it would ruin ruin the surprise and I just don't want to do that but this one is different this is one that I can share because this was actually um, a winner of my competition that I did on Facebook. So I noticed that my Facebook had been a bit like, a bit dead to be honest. The engagement was terrible and I was hardly getting any like new followers or new people seeing my posts. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a competition, see how that goes and I'll get something to add to my portfolio out of it and hopefully increase the engagement on my Facebook a little bit more because it was just just shocking really compared to what it used to be like. It's just almost pointless having it. So yeah, so this is Brandy, the Bernese Mountain Dog and this is the winner of the competition that I did over on Facebook. It was actually to win a 6 by 6 inch drawing. But I said on the post, you can um, upgrade to a larger portrait if you wish and just sort of pay the difference. And that's what happened. So this is a 8 by 11 inch portrait rather than a 6 by 6. And I think that's worked out really well because I think it looks better. Like A big dog like this does look better on a bigger portrait. And yeah, I ended up getting a bit extra for it so I've not done it completely for free which is really nice for me as well so yeah that worked out really well and I've just been enjoying drawing brandy for this last few days. I'm having a hard time though with this paper to be honest it's it's not like it used to be so I've always used the Fabriano Artistico hot press watercolour paper 640 GSM for years, pretty much since like I started going full time with my art, I've been using that paper and it served me well. It's like the paper I've always used, always recommended to people and I've never had any reason to like look elsewhere for something different. But unfortunately, <laughs> this last time that I received the paper, from Jackson's. It's different. The surface is really rough, really grainy, it's not smooth, the pencils don't blend easily and it's just not, it's not for me anymore. So yeah this portrait's been quite hard work to blend and I've had to put a lot more sort of elbow grease into it to blend it together. So yeah, I'm looking for a new paper. I've actually bought a new one. I've just not tried it yet. It's the Saunders Waterford version. So it's the same sort of paper, like hot press watercolour paper. I think it's even like 640 GSM. I think it's practically the same. It's just a different brand, a different version of it. So I'm going to see how that goes. But you might be able to tell just how much I'm having to like blend. It's even when I properly like blend it all together like usual, it doesn't look as blended as the old Fabriano. So, I 
If anyone from Fabriano <laughs> just happens to be watching this video, please please change it back. Because I'm I'm never gonna be buying it again if it's gonna stay like this. But yeah. Just goes to show that you should never just take anything for granted because it can change. I'm just doing this sort of like crazy bit in between the two legs here. I'm using cold grey one as a base. I, I usually do for like black fur. Yeah, I'm excited for my holiday next week. I think I said it's for my cousin's wedding and I'm going to be a bridesmaid so I've actually been packing my suitcase already just because I don't want to forget anything and I know what I'm like. I always forget something and God forbid I've got the bridesmaid dress or something like that. So I've been making sure I've got everything and there's a few bits that I need to do before I go. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my Etsy shop. I don't know whether I should put it on holiday mode. I really don't want to because I've heard it can mess up your ranking, your SEO ranking. So products that I'm on like the first or second and page for when I come back, there's a risk that they might not be anymore. So. Yeah, I'm a bit unsure what to do with that. There's not going to be anyone here that could pack orders for me while I'm away because the whole family is going on this holiday. And I don't, I don't know. I might just change my dispatch time to like a week for the time that I'm on holiday and then I can dispatch them the Monday I get back. That might be a good way to do it. If anyone's just finding this video now, you've not seen any of my other videos before, this is, um, I'm using the Faber, Faber I can't speak, <laughs> I'm using the Faber-Castell polychromos is what I'm trying to say. And I just like to layer them up from light to dark, really gradually, so it looks soft and blended, but like I said, that is a lot trickier at the minute of this paper. Usually it is a lot easier than this. I haven't tried any uh, YouTube shorts yet. I feel like every single app it's trying to be like TikTok and it's starting to annoy me. Like what if if I wanted to watch videos, short videos, I'd go on TikTok, so I don't know. Instagram's doing it too. I'm trying to like be more of a video sharing app. But it's just like it's fine how it was. So I've not I've not done any shorts yet, but maybe I should. Or do you prefer watching that kind of stuff on TikTok? I personally prefer longer videos on YouTube. I feel like that's what it's for. So I'm always just like inclined to do like longer, longer videos on there. Just gonna start blending some cold grey one through this white fur. And I'm going to do some cold grey too. I'll start adding a bit more depth. Feeling a lot better now. I had um, tested positive for COVID on Sunday, so it's now 
day five, so I think I'm technically allowed out today. So that's good. I do feel better. And I'm glad that it happened before the holiday and not just before or during. I really like Bernese Mountain Dogs, I think. Such a cute breed. They're like Golden Retrievers, you know, like them dogs are just happy all the time. If you've got a dog, let me know in the comments what kind of dog you have. I think I need a bit of brown in here. I'm having to like really press on hard compared to usual. Just gonna go in and really darken up this bit with the black. A lot of people don't like using black, but I love using it in the right places, but I think it makes such a difference when you're drawing black dogs. I'd love to get a new camera for uh, making YouTube videos. I've been eyeing up the Sony ZV-1, I think. But for now, I'm sticking with my iPhone. So this is completely filmed on um, my iPhone 11. You can get really good quality on it. It's just the transferring of all the videos. It just takes ages, but... For now it works. I actually think the quality of my iPhone is better than my camera that I use for my tutorials sometimes. Which is weird, but I think it's because I can film in 4K on my phone. It's amazing, you can get like such good quality video from phones now. So for now, I'll just carry on using my phone and my Canon M100, I think it is, for my tutorials. But one day I'd love to upgrade. I still sound a bit croaky, so ignore my voice. I always say this and then on camera I'm like, oh, it sounds fine, <laughs> but in real life I just feel like I sound weird. I always use pretty much the same colour combination for doing black dogs. I use a base of usually cold grey one, sometimes cold grey two, uh, and then I use cold grey five, 
Then I go on top of that with pen's grey and then for areas like, if you can see up here, it's very like bluey and like got a bit of a shine to it. I always use light cobalt turquoise just to add a little bit of that bluey tone and it just, it gives the fur a shine. I don't know how that works, but yeah. I always use a little bit of this and then a bit of black in the really dark areas and I pretty much use that every time I do a black dog unless it's like visually really warm grey on the reference most of the time it's not Trying to like warm that orange up a bit. But yeah, the next commission that I do, I'm definitely <laughs> gonna try that different paper. My only worry is if it's not the same colour because I get my mounts that I use for my commissions, I get them to match the paper colour. And if it's not the same colour, the mount might look a bit weird. I might have to get some more, but yeah, I think it will be worth it to have a nice smooth surface to work on. I think I need a bit of warm grey one. Yeah, let me know if you like these kind of videos because this is quite easy for me to just sit and film. I can only really do it when I'm working on something that's not secret. But I've got quite a few commissions coming up. Well, I've got a couple that I could probably share. When I'm drawing white fur, I like to use like a combination of different cold and warm greys and then sometimes I'll use like luminous colours like this one. Um, raw umber, 10%, I've used that quite a lot through here. I think I might still need to darken it up a bit but yeah, that colours work well for me for this drawing. And I just build it up really gradually. I mean, you should build everything up gradually with coloured pencils, really. It's a very slow medium. You don't want to rush into getting it too dark too quickly. Definitely quite warm around here. But yeah, this is definitely a bit of an ugly stage when it's like a bit all over the place. You can see all my different base colours and it's just a bit like, will that ever look good? But once you've built all the colours up, it does start to look better. Let's add a bit more detail through this bit. to sharpen that. <laughs> Just 
trying to think if there's anything to update you on. I might film a vlog again next week, I don't know, because I am going away on the Saturday. I don't know if I should or not. I might just do like a daily vlog, like one, one day, because I usually do a full week and I, I don't think I always need to do a full week. And sometimes a day or a couple of days would be an interesting enough vlog, so I might do that, I don't know. I do enjoy filming them, so I always like to do them. Even though they're not like my most viewed videos that I do, I just enjoy it, so. Today I've um, edited the next part of the heron tutorial that I've been doing for Patreon and yeah that's that's all I've done today except for this and then I'll probably edit this video and get this up like straight away and yeah I'm just taking it easy it's Friday today and I've been taking it quite easy all week to be honest with having COVID. I'm, I'm trying to learn not to like overdo it and then make myself worse so. Still been getting a lot done though so it just shows that sometimes it is better just to like take it a bit easier. Can add some more cold grab one. Oh, that's cold grey too. Oh well. <laughs> that's probably worked out better to be fair. I always do that. I think I'm using one colour and I'm actually using a different one. Hmm. I do often use my razor just to like blend white fur in a little bit more. I think I might need a dark colour around there. Mm. I don't know yet, I might do this bottom bit first and then see how it's looking. a really light bit of um, white fur just in between this darker bit and on this paper the cold grey one hasn't been light enough to use the slice tool it's just not been working for me so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the white as the base and then when I scratch the top layers off it'll scratch down to the white Let's see how that goes So this is the Museum Aquarelle White, my favourite one. It's actually a watercolour pencil, but it works with coloured pencils. And I'm just going to pretty much just go over the whole thing because I'm hoping that I can just scratch it off with the slice tool. Usually that would work but this paper is just not, not working like it usually does.
It's just like the layering isn't working as well. Like it doesn't layer as many layers on top of each other smoothly. It's almost like I've hit the limit nearly already. This is the pen screw. really having to like grip my pencil hard using a lot of like <laughs> wrist strength for this getting there though just gonna colour it in gosh it's so hard work right black I just feel like I've got rubbish at drawing again where it's like the colours aren't working together. So if you ever find that you're just not improving or no matter what you do it's not working, maybe it's the supplies you're using just aren't working for you. Like this paper is not working for me at all. Right. Let's try the slice tool. The big reveal, does it work with that white underneath? Please work. Oh yeah, that works better. Still not as clean as it usually is, but definitely better. very much feel like it's scratching into the paper itself rather than just scratching the top layer off like it usually does. This paper is just not, not the one anymore. Days are over. <laughs> Usually that would like really smoothly come off and it just hasn't. I have to add some white. Okay, as you've probably noticed, I've done quite a bit since the last clip. My phone ran out of storage and I couldn't for the life of me get it to like work again. I deleted a lot of stuff and it still wouldn't work, it wouldn't film. So yeah, that's that's annoying. This is why I need to get a camera <laughs> that I can use to record stuff like this. But yeah, I've uh, done all this bit and I ended up using the Y and just sort of like going around it a bit to try and make it stand out a bit more and use the slice tool a bit for these like little light hairs and stuff but yeah um i've just been doing that so i think to prevent my camera from cutting out again i probably won't film too much more so i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like if you did it helps me out a lot subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and hopefully 
I'll see you in the next one. So have a lovely weekend or a lovely day, whatever day it is you're watching this. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.